I first met her at 17 at a disco on a Sunday night and I walked her the whole way home, which was 18 miles. <gasps> oh, that's you so walked so all the way home? <laughs> the ten in the Big Brother house are recovering from 24 hours of high drama. Fuck off. <laughs> Yesterday, they each had to nominate who they want evicted from the house. When their votes were totted up, Caroline and Sada emerged as the least popular housemates. <laughs> I'm reading my eviction rights. Now the nation has started voting to decide which person gets thrown out. The final decision will be made on Friday night. Me and you, kid. Yeah. Four of the girls voted to eject Andrew, but they didn't get their way. Don't worry, darling. No, but he's a tosser and I just thought... He is, you're right. <laughs> yeah. else right. oh. No, there's no one else in the house. That bugs me. It's just him. Should I saw. Like I say, he's gonna, he'll be the one end up fucking winning. Vindictive little shit. Andrew was saved from nomination by Melanie's casting vote. Have you just got up? Have you been sleeping all this time? Have you? So jealous. Even through the saxophone? Yeah. No way. How did you do that? Oh, God, it's going mouldy. I know. I know. It has to come out. Um, I just used the... your hand. <laughs> Why don't we use your hand instead? <laughs> that sounds like a much better idea. So you're so lucky you slept so long. I know. How did so you... I'm sleepy, though. Yeah, I know. You're going to feel like I'm, shit. I'm, I'm, I think it's the Reiki. Oh, not, is it? Yeah, I've not been able to sleep the whole... Like COVID hit. Oh really? I might have one then. <laughs> yeah, fucking really, really hurt. Like what my, is it? My whole thing is swollen up. To burn. I don't know. Is it a burn? Yeah, it's a burn. Okay. No one nominated Nicholas for eviction. Thomas is feeling bad about wielding the knife. There's a certain amount of guilt I feel. I'm sure everybody else in the house is probably feeling it about the two people being nominated. It's... It feels like a dirty job, but this is something that I think people in the house should... Before we come in, we knew we were going to have to do this. <laughs> they get on with their weekly task. They've got till tomorrow to memorise 100 facts about each other. Who would be Melanie's famous father? You know what? I know every single one of them. Tom Jones. Who would be my famous father? Winston Churchill. Who would be Sada's famous father? Um, um, John Cleese. <laughs> Who would be Tom's favourite father? John Wayne. Who would be Anne's favourite father? Danny DeVito. Anne. Uh, uh, Who's Anne? Anna. Carl. Jules Holland. Good. How many... Sisters and brothers does Andy have? Two. I think you had a bad memory. Sorry? You, you had a bad memory. No, no, I did. Sada shed her tears last night about the impending eviction, but Caroline is still trying to come to terms with it. I feel disappointed. Why? I just do. Disappointed what? with what? With the, with the old house or disappointed with yourself? I don't know, just, that's the way just, I feel. Just, just try and connect with that. Just try and actually, like, stay there for a minute. So, well, what actually, I'm, I mean, I've had to do it. I feel disappointed it, it with people in here. With people? Yeah. Who do you feel disappointed with? 
Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's as simple as this for me. There, you know, it's not a bit... Um, who, who, who do you feel disappointed with? Mel. But why Mel? Because I feel like she sold us out. But you don't know what Mel... I know, I don't, but that's the feeling I get. Melanie actually voted for Sada and Craig to leave, but Caroline doesn't know it. But don't you think, even, just say hypothetically, that Mel voted both of us out? I mean, we have to allow Mel a preference. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm disappointed with. If it's like, you know... For because, because maybe you thought you had a connection with her? Um, yeah, and uh, I feel like, you know, she's, um, um, you know, not tried with us. She'll do anything for them, but she won't, you know, she's not around us. Do you, uh, why, why, why do you need her here? Is it, do you, do you feel very close to Mel? Do you like Mel? Would you like to sort of be I more like, friends Of course, with Mel? I, I, I like Mel, but I just think that, you know, it's like, um... Why do you think she should have allegiance to us as women and secondly to us as individuals? Um... Maybe because she's a girl, or...? No, I, um... I just don't feel, like I say, you know, um... Watching her, everything she does is for them. It's like, you know, you don't... It's almost like she doesn't want to be around us, and I feel a bit sad about that. But why? I don't know. Maybe you're taking this as a sign that, you know, people haven't appreciated you. I mean, you know, now's the time that we can all appreciate each other, because we're only going to be ten for another three or four days. I mean, Kagi, you're older than the, most of them as well. I know. You know. And that's another thing. Well, it makes it difficult because you maybe have a little more, more, bit more insight. Big Brother calls Andrew to the diary room. He's got no idea how close he came to being put up for eviction. Hi. Hello, Andrew. This is Big Brother. Hi. How are you? Uh, knackered, but happy. Um, what can I say? Yeah, really excellent last two days actually uh weird with the nominations and stuff it was I, I got more nervous than i thought i was going to but still ever since the first i'd ever heard about big brother you know i knew that was going to be the format and you're gonna have to vote two people out and i just kind of thought that was how it was going to be so i was quite surprised when people just got really really nervous and uh and were saying oh why did i come on this stupid program da 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 you know, it's not like we've been tricked. <laughs> if you've made two or three good friends in here, that's it's it's worth it's been worth it. Have a good bloody cry. You just gotta cry until everything's cried out. How confident are you for tomorrow for this task? Very. You? Oh, as a group? Per, per, as a group. Personally, I'm very confident, but... So am I, but as a group? Not very. Well, 50-50. But what about... Craig. Craig. Mm. In your own time, please name... Tomas... Sis star sign. Thomas' star sign is... Is Capricorn as well, as you know? No, no, is he? Capricorn. Can I have your final answer for Thomas's star sign, please, Greg? Not Leo, not Leo. Capricorn. He's not Taurus. Oh. I don't know what I feel. I felt fine this morning. I thought, right, I've had a good cry, that's it, it's all over. It makes me laugh. Look, every time she goes to the mirror, she reaches her lips up. Have you seen that? <laughs> yeah. Watch it. Ha ha I get power and quick for a run. I'm gonna do my meditation for ten minutes. Okay. I'm gonna go for pee first. Yeah, I'll go for pee. Oh. Carry on this too fast. Oh my legs, my legs, my legs. Oh. She's got high, high hopes. She's got high apple pie in the sky. Hopes. The feeling no steady letting go. Just remember that and oh, oops, there goes another rubber tree. Oops, there goes another rubber tree. Oops, there goes another rubber tree plant. You know, everyone else has all had their ages to come in and have a chat with you. Uh, I haven't actually until this very moment. Something just amazing has actually happened.
The group decides to let off steam. The girls are doing aerobics. Anna's playing football with the boys. I bet you Anna can bounce the ball on a foot more than you can. <laughs> You're one attempt. So who goes first? You, you go, go first. One attempt. <laughs> What is Craig most scared of? Spiders. The group's weekly task oh. is to memorize facts about each other. They've got just 14 hours until Big Brother tests them. They'll be allowed only one wrong answer between them. 40% of their weekly food budget is riding on it. Could you please tell us which bit of the body does Mel hate the most? Mel hates her bum. And what was Sada's best friend at school? name? Catherine. Thank you. Her home is burning down. What is the one thing that Anna would rescue? Her violin. Well mm -hmm. Cool. They're trying to make the test conditions as real as possible. Nicola's next in the hot seat. Final 10, 30 questions. What star sign is Thomas? Gemini. Uh, which part of the body does Nicholas hate the most? His head. Who was Nicholas's best friend at school? Uh, Bigza, Biggs. That's it. Wicked. Well done, girls. So, so, no, so nobody's fucked up so far. Oh, Pleasure. What star sign is Melanie? Melanie is a Capricorn. What I did. is Caroline's all-time favourite movie? Caroline's all-time favourite movie is The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> dun, dun. Next, It's oh, no, White Christmas. It's White Christmas. Thank you. What did you say? Wizard, Wizard of Oz. That's one question wrong. Right, <laughs> no room for error. <laughs> yeah, it's been Big Brother has set a discussion topic. And it's my first <laughs> love. And we went to the same school, and um, I don't know what happened, but apparently, I don't remember this, but my brother said she beat me up. <laughs> and I went running home crying, which is a lie. And she was the school bully. And um, she used to bully all the kids in the school. And... Um, <laughs> Ever since. Yeah, then she went to secondary school and I went to a different secondary school and I never spoke to her. And then I saw her one day and she had totally changed from the way she looked and she was just absolutely stunning. And all the boys in our area wanted to get hold of her and they all fancied her. And I looked at her and I thought, oh my God, is that her? And I said, so I went up to her and I started talking to her. And, again. <laughs> yeah, and then um, we became friends. And then one day she pounced on me and um, as, <laughs> they do, as they do <laughs> and then three years later we had children and that was the mother oh, of my kids oh, 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 my first love mm, michelle from castle derrick i first met her at 17 at the disco on a sunday night and i walked her the whole way home which was 18 miles Oh, that's you walked all the way home. <laughs> 80 miles? Yeah, I sung poems to her, songs. They <laughs> <laughs> shared dresses. We stood up shortly after that and I met her again whenever I was about 21. We lasted about four to five months. She left because she wanted to get a job. She couldn't get a job in the local area. Uh, at that time, I gave up everything for her, basically. The only thing I didn't do was leave home for her. I let her go, and I've never talked to her since. Would you like to see it again? I would, but uh, there was another girl in the meantime since that. that that's my second love, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's the <laughs> <story>. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, my first love, I was 22, and it was a girl called Jackie. And I met her over in Dublin, and she asked me out for a drink, and I went out. And we started seeing each other, and we went out with each other for around nine months. And she dumped me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 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 it wouldn't be an ideal relationship for me, no. She was a bit older than me. She'd hate me saying that. <laughs> She's so older than me. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, my first love uh, was a girl called Shelley. Uh, we started going out together... Well, it was about just after 18, 18 and a half I was, uh, and i just got back from travelling around Europe. <clears throat> and um, we went out with each other for about five years in total. Uh, it was quite serious. We both loved each other. The brilliant thing is, in all the time we were together, we did not argue about anything wow. at oh, all, which is good. impossible to believe, yeah. but yeah. we very, very rarely... So what uh, happened then? She just done everything I said. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> 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 I didn't. in many ways. Oh. What happened? Right, quite you know what? Nice. We didn't even break up on bad terms. What we both realised was we were both growing up we were both wanting different things and experienced different things. We hadn't really both had a chance to live our life, i.e. going with other people, this and that. Like, we, we just thought it would be better off we stay best of friends and share and do everything that we want to do, you know, all over the world and things like that, and then hopefully meet up another 10 years and we'll get married and have kids and things like that. Yeah, and still, she might know, be waiting for you when you get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I know she'll be there, like, yeah. I think you should marry Shelley. Yeah, I will marry Shelley like you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know, I know that. I know like that. She knows it as well. Um, at school there was a French girl called Pohanique, um, and I didn't know that uh, she fancied me until I was told six months after that she first told her, one of her friends, and I went... How old were you at this time? Uh, 17. And we spent the summer uh, where she where she lived just outside Paris and we got married in secret which was quite cool no one knew um, and then and then it was fantastic and no one knew we were married but she had a ring on that we just said it was just a, just a ring. So she went to the church and everything? No we got married at a, a restaurant. Oh secret. wicked! How old were you? Seventeen and a half. Round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Brave man, man. Yeah. Um, I, I was very deeply in love with her. Um, she came, she met me back out in Australia. And unfortunately we had a, a terrible car accident in the Northern Territories, which uh, killed her. Oh, oh my God. So. That's, that's amazing. I mean, when... when you must be heartbroken. No, oh, no, it's, it's fantastic, but it's like all things. Once something happens like that, you can only look forward, because what was what was meant to be is meant to be. So, mm. unfortunately, yeah. it wasn't supposed to be. The discussion prompts a rare visit to the diary room by Craig. Hello. Hello, Craig. Hi. Uh, I just feel as if I need to come in and have a chat with you. Uh, the reason being, everyone else is all had their ages to come in and have a chat with you. Uh, I haven't actually, until this very moment, something just amazing has actually happened to me. Uh, basically, uh, a coincidental thing has actually happened. Uh, our topic we've been talking about tonight is, as you know, our first loves, and as you've probably heard me talking about Shelley, uh, my first love, we went out for each other about five years. Um, we were best of friends, and we're still best of friends now. And when we first started going out with each other about 10 years ago, uh, we said to each other that we're going to get married in about 10 years. And the most coincidental thing is it's actually today, to the date. Hmm? Andrew was impressed by what? Nicholas's story, but Nicholas admits he changed a few details. No, if I can fair play for saying that, I think I'd have been almost tempted to make something up. Hmm? I think I'd have been almost tempted to just make something up. Well, I'd change the name, obviously. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And location. Country was the location, the other one, it's just... Yeah. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that, I was... I had a thought back there to actually do a public 
uh, announcement to actually marry you, but I'm not going to do that unfortunately because one, uh, I haven't had the chance obviously to discuss it with Shelley and the main reason is, is we probably will get married one day, uh, but we, as I spoke about before, we haven't both experienced everything that we want to. I, I don't want to be married to Shelley and then in 10 years time she hasn't had a chance to, to, to go out with somebody else or to travel somewhere or do a career and she just recently started a new career. Uh, only, only three weeks ago, <laughs> so I wouldn't want to spoil that at all. But I just thought I had to come in and, and shout it out. I feel like screaming it out that it's the most coincident, yeah, a little coincidental thing that's ever happened to me for, for time and wise and date. It's amazing, and I just got this brilliant feeling in my stomach. <laughs> Fox, yeah, fact. I'm gonna get a bed. At the end of Dear 12, tomorrow's oh. memory test is still bothering them. Got me all fresh and up and ready to rear and rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, we've all got to be up early yeah. on me tomorrow. We want to be showered and go through this again. And looking we? gorgeous. We don't want to go through that again, do we? <laughs> we do. Tomorrow morning, yeah. <laughs> Those three questions, yeah. Well, when, you, when you go for yours and then I'll do mine, come so uh. positive. I know I'm not gonna fail. And Caroline and Sada, both nominated for eviction, can only wait till viewers decide their fate in 48 hours' time. I've discovered I'm a human. It's got, it's, it's got to bring the group closer together there, Svela. It has to, because in the day, if, if not, everyone's going to end up feeling so alone. And that's the worst. It's the worst today. I just felt like I was, I was just like, I can't believe how fucking alone I feel. It's just weird. It's just so weird. A room full of people and a lonely place. Yeah, I know. I started thinking about... That's a good line. A room full of people and it's a, it's a lonely place. Yeah. We'll have to put that in our song, Nick. We are one with the goddess. And to her we shall return like a drop of rain, drop of rain, flowing to the ocean. Is she alright when she's in there? Is she alright? She was gutted. Oh, God, was she? Just, does, does, does she honestly think she'll be tired? So I think in a, in, in a, I would, I would perceive it as, say, Sada goes, Caroline goes, a bit later, Nikki goes, Craig the week after, mm. Anna, then me, you, Thomas, the cat, then... You sing again, please? <coughs> really? Please? Yeah, we definitely. We are one with the goddess, and to her we shall return like a drop of rain, drop of rain. Flowing to the ocean. Who goes? You decide. To vote Caroline out, ring 09011 980 101. To vote Sada out, ring 09011 980 102. Calls cost 10 pence.